Welcome to Christmas in July. We just made this Santa Stops Here personalized signpost for your front porch using two pickets, some MDF in our Glowforge. I will show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, Christmas is in the air. Not really. It's 95 degrees and it's the middle of July. Christmas is right around the corner. It is right around the corner. If you're a crafter or if you make products to sell, this is about that time where you start thinking about your fall and Christmas lineup, inventory, things that you're going to be making. So we're going to kick off our Christmas in July projects this week. Gonna get frosty. So what are we making this week? This week we're making a Santa Stop Here personalized front porch signpost. Ooh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> yes, so we have made signposts before, but we've used these four by fours. This week, with the price of wood the way it is, we found a, what we think is a relatively affordable way to make a signpost. We didn't need to take out a personal loan for these. No, we didn't. Uh, I'm telling you, we're a four by four, yeah. Yeah. It would be pretty expensive. So we're gonna be using these 48 inch dog-eared fence pickets, two of them. And I think we're gonna make a cute little post with that. Yeah, kind of cheap. We'll be, be able to bring back our friends Pockets on Brad since oh, we furloughed them. <laughs> they'll be glad to get back to work. <laughs> And we're also making a second project this week. If you could join us on Sunday, we're doing our Make It Live on Sunday, where we're making our gingerbread houses door around. So this was the tiny bird, ha bird houses door around that we made a couple of weeks ago. Garrett turned them into gingerbread houses. Threw some snow, threw some candy on there. <laughs> it delicious. So we'll be making this live on Sunday at 6 p.m. If you guys want to join us, pop in, say hello. Yeah, pop in. Ask what's up, how's it going, we'll let you know. <laughs> and the files for this week's kit will be in our store, kngmakeit.com. We will have the digital file, so if you wanted to do some sort of layered uh, vinyl version, you could do that with a Cricut, or those of you with your Glowforge, you can make this yourself. We are doing this as a personalized sign kit, or post, actually we're doing two, we're doing one of these is a post topper, and then we're also going to offer a door round for the front door. Personalization comes down below in our sign post. But for those of you that have a Glowforge, you can do offer a personalization option, which we're excited to do because we have not done that very often. I think we've done it one other time. One time. So we're looking forward to doing that this week and, and offering that in our store. You're so special. You're lucky. <laughs> we are also doing another Adobe Illustrator tip. I'm going to show you how to make a font cuttable in under 30 seconds. Yeah, we've had a lot of great feedback from our Adobe Illustrator tips and tricks, so Garrett's going to add one more in this week, and I'm excited to show you guys that. This one will help out with that personalization. So go get your kits or whatever you need so you can follow along and download the file, and let's get started. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. Super short shopping list. We just needed two pickets, like we said. Then I needed some quarter inch MDF, quarter inch MDF, a little bit of glue, some brad nails, some paint, and then I think that's it. Yep. And that is it. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. One of our pickets is the post, so we're not gonna mess with it. The other picket is going to be the feet, and we're gonna make two cuts at 10 inches and two cuts at 12 inches. And um, it's really good to see that he's back. We're gonna make all these cuts with pocket saw. He's back. He's feeling rested, he's ready to go. These don't have to be perfect. But look at that. Played the lottery in one, got a sharpened <laughs> pencil. That doesn't happen very often. All right, we'll go 12 inches, 24 inches, 34 inches and 44 inches. Whew. Almost perfect. Almost. All right, safety first, Kim. Safety first. Now we're gonna take the quarter inch MDF over to the Glowforge and we're gonna cut out our design. The design is 16 inches, so I have to use the pass-through slot. On the way there, we're gonna stop at Adobe Illustrator 
and I'll show you how to make those fonts cuttable real fast. Here we are in Adobe Illustrator. This is the file that Kim mocked up. I'm just gonna prep it to make it a cut file. First thing I'm gonna do is select all of the fonts, all of the text. I'm gonna hold shift and select each of the words. Then I'm gonna go up to type, create outlines. You can also use shift control O. Boop. There, second thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to window, pathfinder, then we're gonna unite them all. Bam, done, they're ready. Oops, did I miss these? Oh, these are all separate. All right, type, create outlines, unite, done. Some of these have a stroke around them. Right, so what we're going to do, oh, these are grouped, ungroup, select, 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 oops, boo, boo, uh-oh, I wasn't expecting this. Are we still going to make 30 seconds? Okay, we're going to go to object, path, outline stroke, back to the pathfinder, and unite. Bam. There, everything's ready to be cut. I'm just gonna finish prepping this. I'll meet you guys back at the table. Step three. Now we paint. <laughs> We're gonna paint all of our little feet pieces and our post white, right? Yes, we're gonna crinoline. use our country chic paint in crinoline. And then I'm gonna paint my backer in white. I'm gonna use Simplicity. Oh. It's just a little bit brighter white, uh, but I have a smaller container of this, so I'm gonna do the backer in this. And since we have a large container of the crinoline, he's gonna do the post in that. Two-tone white, didn't even know. And then the other colors I'll be using for Santa Stop here, I'm gonna alternate red and green. I'll be using Devotion for the red, and then Rustic Charm for our green. Now we're gonna assemble it. We're gonna glue down the backers and then hit them with a, a three quarter inch brad. The nail, and not the guy. We're just gonna glue them in place. You wanna throw the glue on the, I guess we'll put it on the. On the post, yeah. Where's it gonna sit? It's gonna sit, I'm, env I'm envisioning like halfway, three quarters. Oh, like right there. Yeah, All okay, right. good call, good call. So we're gonna put these down, hit them with the brads, and then glue the letters on so we'll hide the, so we'll be able to hide the, uh, what you call it? The brads, so we'll be able to hide the brads. <laughs> That's so smooth. Yeah, yeah. You know how I am. I found the littlest, <laughs> the, I found the, the tiniest sleeve of three quarter inch. Eight nails there. Brads that I could. Again, the nail. <laughs> Not the guy. So now we're gonna go ahead and glue our frames onto our little uh, name yeah. plates. I guess we're just gluing everything down, right? Yes. Glue it all down. And we'll glue our letters down. And we're yeah. gonna use this star bond medium with this crazy little tip on it. What's this tip? Yeah, so I was gonna share that, so thank you for the segue. Yeah, In the <laughs> looks weird. <laughs> it's a tiny little 
like precision tip and I know you probably can't even see it but these come in uh, the package when you get the glue and I hadn't used them <coughs> until now but they've done a great job making sure I put just enough glue like a lot of times when you're gluing down tiny pieces especially like this gingerbread house thing uh, you want this little precision tip to give you just that right amount of glue so it doesn't ooze out the sides and dry shiny so you will see it so you're trying to keep it really hidden behind the letters oh the other thing about this kit is we did score the the base so that you can know exactly where to put your letters yeah super easy yeah so you have a guide to put your letters So personal personalization comes in right here. So we just knew the Make It family, but you're part of the Make It family, mm -hmm. and this is our post. Look how cute that is! Oh my gosh! Oh, now let's stand it up. Yeah. All right, we're gonna stand this jam up. All right, is this still part of assembly? Yeah, still part of assembly. Now we're gonna put the feet on it. We have the 12 inches. We'll go with this side. So it looks the coolest, right? What do you think? Yeah. All right, one 12 inch goes that way. Other 12 inch goes on the back side. That side looks better. Now we're gonna glue. glue it. We'll glue. We'll glue. We'll glue this side. We're gonna swap out these tiny little screws, tiny little nails, I always call them screws, tiny little brads, and we'll go for a bigger brad. This is an inch and a quarter brad, the nail, not the guy. Line it up with the edge right over there. Do you want me to lay it down? Nope. Coming in. Are you sure that's a good idea? I am positive. Look at that. Pretty good. Oh yeah, we'll stand. Look, it stands. Let's make it a little more sturdy though. Yeah, one gust of wind and it will not be standing. <laughs> so we're gonna use the sides of these two to kind of catch that leg. And do the same in the back. All right, let's add some glue. Great thing about these pickets are they're already pressure treated. So that helps a lot. You'll still want to spray this whole thing with polyacrylic or paint it with polyacrylic because it is done with chalk paint. Mm, the chalk paint loves moisture. Just soaks it right up. <laughs> like a sponge. See the top? No. Nope. Sure can't. <laughs> and bring it on down. Now we know there's a good possibility Santa will stop here. <laughs> you can all you can see most of it, I think. Okay. Well, well, you can see up to stop. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. just brought to my attention that we could have totally used unicorn spit for the post. How poppin' would have that been? Would have that have been? Would have that have been? What did I say? It doesn't matter. Um, I was frustrated. Yes, he is. I was like, he was like, are you kidding me? You can mention this now. 
right at the end as we're we're just it's, setting it up. Well, I was she telling says, him there was hey. a yeah, there was a user comment that said, "Do you guys have any inspiration for Unicorn Spit or any projects coming up with Unicorn Spit? I want some inspiration." And he was like, "Are you kidding me? <laughs> we yeah, have we could have totally done this. It would've been <laughs> popping." I got another picket. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do it again with the unicorn spit. I'm doing it again. All right, what'd you guys think? Two pickets, some MDF. Not per, not bad at all. Uh, painting was pretty super quick. Uh, yeah. Which I really enjoy. <laughs> I think the post took me longer than it took him to paint all the stuff. Yeah, it was really quick. Yeah. I had to wait for my paint to dry. Yes, we did have to wait for his paint to dry. And just a little reminder, we do a monthly Make It Live YouTube video or YouTube, what, show? Yeah. What do you call it? A live, just a live event. Live event! <laughs> On So this month is this Sunday. So this month's Smackdown. <laughs> We're going to finish up our Christmas in July and make our door round. Yeah, that's right. I can't wait to talk to all you guys. We'll uh, yeah, it's very chit chat. We really like we really part of the Make It, it. family. <laughs> all right, I think we're about out of time, Kim. So, if you're not joining us for the patron after show, we will see you next week. Where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Guess what? Guess what time it is? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna balance the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at you. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right, All right now. <laughs> <laughs>